Hello, welcome. This is another episode of Griffin's Choice. Uh, more Dragon Age. I enjoyed playing it so much yesterday that I said, I'm just going to keep playing. Uh, we'll still be Witcher Wednesday uh, tonight, though. I just ended up getting off work early, so I had plenty of time today to do a bunch of stuff. I may even stop playing this halfway through and go play some Batman and then play Witcher after that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I got time on my plate today, so we'll see what we do. All right, so we need to go talk to Cassandra... We have other options as well. I'm gonna ignore everybody. We're gonna go over here. They, I, I think they want me to go this way. That's her. That's I think they want me to go this way. That's and then I can. Dragoning scales. Still a lot of rifts left all over. Little cracks in the sky. She can feel those though. The herald of justice. Someone had better. You won't feel those rifts with the chance of life. Why did Lady Cassandra have her in chains? I thought secrets were everything. It's complicated. Hello, everybody. Everybody's just. Okay, so we're going to Chantry. She should be taken to Val Royal immediately. To be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is guilty. The elf failed, Seeker. I believe Seeker Pentagast is looking for you. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you. I just wander around for the ball because I can. It's a book. I like that. That's become a thing in a, in these games. It's like, oh yeah, you read books. Books are great. They get you. Uh... Oh, I forgot to turn that light on. That helped us yesterday with this flickering shirt thing. Add that an extra light source helped make that not so bad. Ah, it's still flickering a little bit, but whatever. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. I need to go this way? Disregard that. This way. Leave us. Uh. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. Mm-hmm. I did what I could. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Indeed. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others. Or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The divine called to her for help. Yes, so yes. Her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. You really think your Maker would send someone like me? The Maker does as he wills. It is not for me to say. Even if that means a Dalish elf is his chosen? Humans are not the only people with an interest in the fate of the world. The breach remains. Okay. And your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine. Granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. 
We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. Mm -hmm. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. Inquisition of old. the Inquisition of old, exactly. It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order. But the Templars have lost their way. We need those okay. who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But okay. we cannot wait. So many grand clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You want to hold him? trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. And if I refuse. If I refuse. You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We okay. can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. I want to help. If you're truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. That was a weird hitch. <laughs> It's like, the whole hand is like this, and Cassandra's open hand like this, and it just felt like a, it, it, it felt weird. It looked weird. I, I still can't believe it. I thought this game looked real good when it came out, and then now looking back on it, replaying through it now, I'm just like, no, this game is, it's, it's all right looking, but it's not great. It's not as good as I remember it being. Oh, getting a little stuttery. I'm hoping that's my headphones. It's Making that stutter with the music noise. I guess I'll find out when I go back to rewatch later. I do still really love the music in this. I got like facial hair and stuff doesn't look right. Eyelashes don't look good. It's like face stuff, basic face stuff. Movement and animation looks pretty good. In most cases. The Witcher has some of the best looking faces in games. So. Hankers has got a cool logo. Sign. Title card! I guess we probably could have played till the title card last time. And then called it after that, but I played to the beginning and end of that. Whatever. Alright. Uh, okay. So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender? If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're her. Thryn. Inquisition quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. 
If you okay. find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What is your job? What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How did you end up here? How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported mm -hmm. her father and got me away from the political garbage. Your loyalty to the man you served is admirable, Quartermaster. Thank you. A lot of people seem to think they know what happened to Ostagar, but I was there. Turned I was too. I yes, he did. If he brought the reinforcements. Darkspawn would have just killed everyone. Would they? He did what he had to do to save our country, and we betrayed him. I disagree. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. Tell me about the requisitions. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. How do I find special orders? If I have materials for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Goodbye. Make a go with you. Inspect the requisitions. All right, what do we need? We need five iron and a logging stand. That can all be found around here. So we can get, we can go find that stuff. Fine. We can find that stuff around here. Varric, let's talk to Varric for a little while. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I have no idea what's happening anymore. That makes two of us. For days now, we've been staring mm -hmm. at the breach, watching demons and... I know what he wants to hear. I haven't been playing it. this long enough. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Why'd you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker okay. winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider Indeed. running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. You got anything else to say, Barry? You done talking. I have questions about Hawk. I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. Mm hmm That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Arsino's fate. In the book, you say that first enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? Well, I can't tell you how. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. Okay. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arishok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arishok didn't get mm -hmm. permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Okay. Where the rest Where of the yeah. Where are they? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and templars so far. 
I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish cl She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't okay. know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's little sister is in the free marches, helping some of the other survivors from the Kirkwall Circle. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Probably. Need That's it. No news on the rest of them? Personal you question. You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Where are you from? Are you from Ferelden? Olay? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. What do you do? I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Okay. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. Okay. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Before we worry about the. Or wait, was there another Please line of questioning? Oh, tell me we're there. The red lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered red. We located an ancient. Okay, there we go. So old it barely looked. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and well, everything's gone downhill from there. What can I do? What makes it special? Regular lyrium can. Red lyrium messes with your mind. And then. It does creepy shit. Makes things float. Bring statues to life. Yep. I've had a few alchemists studying it in Kirkwall, in shifts. You have a piece of it. Red My brother kept the sliver when he sold it. I'm pretty sure he held on to it because it was already talking to him. That little shard drove him mad. We brought the ship to the surface, mm -hmm. Bartrand and I. I wanted to find out if there was a way to shut it up. So far, it looks like the answer is no. Okay, is that if dangerous? Is as dangerous as I've heard that shit singing to me. In Orzum, our miners keep regular non-crazy raw lyrium in special lead-lined containers. Actually, it's a huge secret how they're constructed. Keep surface folk. I pulled a lot of strings and got a smith mm -hmm. to build me four of them nested inside each other. Nobody gets to study it up close for more than an hour, and they have to wait a week between shifts. Okay. So That's one little safety it's protocol. Red stuff is lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one sees Why was it in the temple? Or no How did the red lyrium? I don't know. As far as I knew, there was only one small piece of the original idol we brought out of the deep roads. And it's locked in a vault in Kirkwall. One I had built by the mining cast, especially. Okay. I think that's enough. Yeah. 